Welcome to warrior class. Where the teachers whoop ass. And you, you will too, too if you pass. pass. <laughs> All right. About to get set up for y'all. We're at uh, episode 36. Um, this is the hammer. Revisit it. All right. So um, for those that's been following us for a while, you know we did the hammer. Um, we did the hammer a while ago. Um, live. It was our first live warrior class, actually. And um, we did a workshop wherein we worked with the claw hammer. We're visiting, revisiting it. Okay. Uh, it is a ubiquitous tool. And of course, we couldn't go into everything doing the workshop. So we're going to go deeper today in dealing with the hammer. Okay. Now, there's several types of hammers. This is a claw hammer. You know, the sledgehammer, that's, that's two handed. We want something that's easy to carry in your car. You could conceal this inside a jacket. Um, you can wear it in your pants. So if you all can see here, if you have a loop in your pants, you can wear it in your pants. That's actually what that's for. Carpenter right pants. We didn't know back in the days. Carpenter jeans. We were just wearing some jeans, but that's what that's for. I imagine those who were carpenters and children of carpenters knew, but uh, I just start putting certain tools in there. Say, so, hey, then found out, hey, actually, yeah, it's for the hammer. Okay, so uh, we got the ball peen hammer, similar to this, but it has a ball at the back of it. Okay, we got the mallet. Do you have a mallet in here? I do have a mallet. Let me you get grab it. Is, is that the most popular hammer that you have right there? Is that the most popular? Yes. Yeah, so the claw hammer is the most popular because not only does it drive nails, it also pulls pulls nails out with the uh, with the hook. Okay. With its teeth pulls the nails out. This is a mallet. Okay, this is also a, a, a good tool to wield. Good for doing some blunt damage, crushing blunt damage. Yeah, it's heavier. Okay, it's, it's, it's heavier than this, but this is more versatile. Okay. Um, you can carry this short and use it just like if you were punching. protect yourself with the mallet okay the small mallet all right put this off to the side we get into the technical parts of this we're gonna deal with a little news so first thing I want to deal with is something that happened in my old high school my my old school is Whitney Young now Whitney Young, when I went there, was known as the best uh, public high school in the United States. Wow. For academics, it was a school of the gifted. You had to test, and I think you still do, uh, two years above in math, science, and English. Damn. That's a minimum. Okay. Uh, and then you had to decide what you were going to major in, they, they were handling it similar to college, right? So I was a science major. Um, the school was top choice. Of course, you had, you know, celebrities sending their children there and all that. Celebrities to be went there, you know, the Wachowski sisters, they were the Wachowski brothers when they first made the major, they said Wachowski sisters now. They went to the same school, uh, the comedian Craig, what's his last name? The brother, he wears a short afro. He went there. A lot of a lot of people, you know, went there. You know me. <laughs> so, um, school of the gifted, 
back in those days, and, and my sister Lisa went there too. Uh, she was from the first graduating class with me. Okay. Um, at that time, I believe the school was majority black. Okay. You had this black school doing all these great things. Right. Blowing it's people, it was blowing people away. Then next thing you know, now I think it's 85% white. Oh, 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 next thing you know. And this is this is key because what happened recently at Whitney Young is a white teacher, well, a black teacher is going by a room and he sees inside the white teacher's room. A black, a doll of a black football player hanging by a noose. So he goes in the class, or she goes in the class. I'm not, I'm not sure. They're not saying, uh, but I'll tell you what happened to the black person after this. Um, I think it's a he goes into the class and confronts the white teacher and says, "Who they will not release their identity." That's the clue. Goes in and says, "Excuse me." Uh, I was wondering why you have a black effigy hanging in your classroom. And the white dude goes off. The black person goes off. They go off back and forth with each other. They're arguing in front of the students. Because the, 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 the black teacher confronted them in front of the students. Oh, now, why students? And students filmed this. Oh, damn. Why did... Why students hadn't already told their parents this craziness was in their class, I don't know. Maybe they did, none said nothing, or nothing was done until it got filmed and it just blew up. So the police were called in, all of this, right? Guess who the police snatch up when they walk in? The black teacher. You remember guess who? <laughs> guess who uh got fired? The black teacher, guess who's still teaching at the school? The white teacher still teaching at the school. That's yes. Crazy, man. After hanging a black effigy of a football player, football players in, in that class better beware. <laughs> they're hanging uh, by a noose in that class. So it's funny. They talked about it on Remix Morning Show last Thursday, right? People are like, oh, we see why Bob Goon, you know, is uh, uh, trained like he is and all that. Man, your city is, is, is rough. And that school was a school of highly intelligent, creative folks. I started training long before I went to that school. And it wasn't because of violence. It's because of family. I had no choice but to train. It came in handy throughout my life, everywhere, but really I only got into one violent encounter at my high school. And that was from a supposed friend as I, I cracked the joke. We both laughing at the joke. As I'm laughing, he grabs my head and slams it into the table. Was he hyper or something? And then, no. And then he kept running from me because I was like, I just want to talk to you. And he was like, I'm out. <laughs> he kept running, I'm, I'm, and I'm faster than him. So he would stop, and then he would let me throw a couple punches, but I had taught him how to cover. So he was covering, <laughs> so I, I couldn't. And I'm, and I'm trying to hit low, he's low covering. And I, I said, he's faster. But the heavens was with me because one of my best friends, who was the uh, national wrestling and judo champion, wow. is walking with his friend. They're getting ready to go to the uh is a popular game room, we just call it arcade, called the depot. He sees it and said, Man, what's going on? This that's my cousin. Talking about me. Mm -hmm. My cousin, what's going on, cousin? I said, he slammed my head to the table for, for no reason. And uh I'm I'm trying to just, you know, get my licks back. He said, Oh no, it's all right. Boom, grabs the dude. Boom, grabs me. Say, you go ahead and go home. We got him. I look back. Him and his boy, who don't even know me, they are stomping the hell out of Jay. Is his name? I won't give his last name. They stomping the hell out. Boom, boom. 
then I just look and see Donald pick him up, and I just keep going. I know he's going to get slammed bad. He called me that evening and apologized. He said he don't know what went wrong with him. That was strange. They knocked the sense back in him. That was strange. That's strange. It was strange, but, you know, uh, I mean, we end up not being friends after a while. Uh, <laughs> I would think. It was something that he did. Um, he became a serial rapist. Oh. And uh, he found me on Facebook. Uh, and because I wouldn't speak to him, he's, you know, threatened me and stuff like that. So I said, you know, I I, I did end up speaking. I said, well, I'll see you when I come to Chicago. <laughs> and I've been to Chicago several times. That was last year. I've been several times last year. Me and the wife. He hasn't shown his face. People talk. They're not going to do anything. But. That's a good point. That just shows you Whitney Young was a pretty peaceful place. And when we had, but it always had these things. Like I, I did a uh, report on genocide and it became the big hullabaloo of the school. I did a report on genocide. This one uh, white girl there, I don't even know her name. She she was, genocide's not real. That's, uh, nobody's killing blacks. I said, are you out your mind? And so it was black folks in there like, you crazy. They, it was blacks and whites going off. They were going off. It, it was a little tip going on, right, where they were one as we better not fight. I thought it was going to get, you know, rough then. But it's funny. I was the catalyst, but nobody was trying to fight me. It was just they were trying to fight <laughs> each other over that, right? Uh, black people really felt they started seeing people who they friends, they thought. These, right. these white folks, they friends. But when it came down to that, they were saying there is no genocide. Nobody has it in for black folks. Blah, 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 blah. And black folk, we know this to be true that they do have it in for us. And so it got ugly. That's one of the re things that make me um, thankful for social media like Facebook and stuff because we had all these people that we thought were our friends on social media when Facebook first came out we linking with all our friends from school you know white black and then we talk about subjects and all of a sudden we get the politics of these people that we were associates with or friends in high school and we realize dang these people how do you think is which brings me to my next point. This is what my, I don't really have any news. I just want to say this from my personal experience. You don't have to argue with people on social media if you don't want to. One of the things i noticed is that some people, it's just a fact, some people are good at arguing. I know people that can argue something they know is wrong and win because it's a, it's a skill. Debating is a skill. And if you don't have that skill, you may not be that good, even if you have the truth. So what I will challenge y'all to do sometimes is don't feel like if somebody is, is better than you at debating with y'all on social media, don't feel like you have to go back and forth with that person. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that. And be quick with your delete button and block button. I'm learning, man. Bible's are teaching me, man. I'm learning, man. I, I be letting some of these folks stress me. I used to. Now sometimes I play with them, get them to say something real mm -hmm. long, and then just delete them after that. And delete the comment, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> what I like to do, and, and what you all can do, and, and if you send it to me, you'll, you'll find out. <laughs> if you type me a long dissertation about something, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so, whether you're agreeing with me or disagreeing, you don't have to write a book. <laughs> I'm just going to say, okay. <laughs> or, yep. That's it. That's all you're getting from me. He's even done that to me before. I just won't go and say so, that. I, <laughs> I get too long so with it. Right. Don't don't get long with it with me. I, I don't talk on the phone. I hate the phone. <laughs> and on here, I, I love to read, but not just somebody's opinion. <laughs> okay. So we can state our job succinctly. But don't you think if we come together, we so and so and so, and then we build a block, and then to get together, then we can so and so. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's all you're gonna get. So just letting you know that. Just keep it, you know, real succinct with me, and we good. Preserve your energy, man, and your peace. And a lot of times, I don't even speak. I just post uh, gifs. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the yeah, king of Jif. We don't even talk about that. We don't even do that. Oh, so said wasted energy. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It's like, man, look, we have finite memory. We have finite words. We don't have an infinite command of words. Nobody does. Mm-hmm. You know the whole thing that black men only have so many words, so on so six hundred words. Black women six. Yeah, they said black men got six hundred. Black women got six thousand. White women got some like sixty thousand. White wow. men got six hundred thousand. First of all, <laughs> a white man ain't got no six hundred thousand. I got six hundred words. Right. That's some bullshit. <laughs> And that's to make them sound so far and so much more in command of words than we are. Get out of here. We speak the way we speak. That does not mean we don't have command of words. Well, we had to command of the words the way we're going to speak. Who, who gathered that? Right. right. Who, I always who, say somebody that right sat there and counted. <laughs> right. He got 600. And actually, which, which words were they referring? And when I look at it, all well, I, like, right? When I look at that, all I say is, okay, well, we must be way more efficient than them. We only got that to too. <laughs> but you know, and that would make sense because, like in the Odoo, it's two hundred and fifty Odoo, okay, two hundred fifty-six. Excuse me, Odoo. And those Odoo can tell everybody's whole life story. That's very efficient. <laughs> That's efficient as hell. But and they're not written out like this. They're written with just eight. Symbols. We we might have to because we so, use words like I right, and then we like, right I right, instead of all right, 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 right. It's like uh, right. Means seven different oh, things with the right. rhythm. <laughs> and we're not saying the whole thing. We're not saying all right. Is that all right? That's even more efficient. We just bad right. motherfucker. Right. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> well, like this, we all know what this means. When, uh, on on uh, OJ song. Um, Oh yeah, I'm not, said, I'm not black. I'm not. I said OJ says I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. <laughs> now we know what that means. <laughs> we know what that means. Now you could have said I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. That's something different. Right. Rhythm. And it wouldn't have been hot. But that's something different. But you know, okay, we know like okay, I don't know, Uncle Tom crazy nigga. We know <laughs> what he's saying. He said all of that. Oh, Uncle Tom crazy nigga would just. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we so we may have command of 600. We have mastery over that 600. Right. <laughs> and, and we have command of 600 words maybe, but concepts infinite. Yeah, and we can make those 600 words mean the 60,000. Right, cuz 60, I 600 yeah, million 600, that the that 600,000 that the white man got over us. Did you have, you have, he say 600,000 words and that shit don't mean nothing. <laughs> I did. I wanted to talk about, briefly, I wanted to talk about the latest episode of Atlanta. Just because I've seen a lot of people refer to it. I hate spoilers, so I'm not going to, I was about to say, say so what seen, happens or anything yet. like that. I haven't seen this whole season yet. But I can no. tell you that it is sort of about... I, I'll, I'll call it... My name for the episode is Reparations Kinda. Or... <laughs> The Bloodless Revolution, which if anyone is familiar with Malcolm X, he said that there has never in history been a bloodless revolution. So just imagine, you know, what that could be about. Um, what I found interesting and what I thought that was, about. That, that, was, that was a jab at Elijah Muhammad, too. Oh, really? Because Elijah Muhammad said we can have a bloodless revolution. Oh, OK. So my well, <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> Donald Glover must be listening to, right. <laughs> to well, Elijah Muhammad. So. Of course, Malcolm um, X was, huh? No, we talking about Donald Glover must have been. Oh, there. Donald. Oh, right. Oh, right. right. So, um, it, I thought about the last episode. We talked about how things can make us feel when we're watching television or when we're watching movies, and how dangerous that can be, especially to a warrior's mindset, because they're really painting pictures. They're really mm-hmm. showing you realities that you could start to think could really exist. Um, so that's what, that's why it's important to, like, we talked about fortify your mindset before you're watching these things, because you have to realize that they're engaging in fantasy. They're engaging in, you know, that's not something that's real. It's just entertainment. So as far as, uh, this episode went, um, I just think that I saw a lot of people on my timeline, like, 
thanking him for making the episode and really like praising its subject matter. And I think that what we have to really be clear about it, it, any abstract conversation about reparations. Do I think we should get reparations? Absolutely. Do we deserve reparations? Yes. But we are dealing with people who would rather destroy the planet that they themselves have to live on for money. So what would they do to us rather than give us a significant amount, amount of money or, you know, really give some of their power away? Um, if it happened in the courts that all of a sudden in the courts, we started winning these, these uh, court cases, then, you know, they would just change the courts. They would kill the judges. They would do whatever <laughs> they had to do to make it so that that would not be the case. So my point is that we just need to be careful when we're watching these things. I, I really like the show Atlanta. It's very entertaining for me. Um, other shows, you know, we talked about last week. There's lots of shows that are very entertaining, but we cannot be, um, we cannot make that fantasy or that delusion part of our thinking going forward. Like the things that we're learning on this show, the things that we learned from Baba are because for the most part, to put it very frankly, these people would rather kill us <laughs> than, than give us anything or, you know, allow us to start to take any of the power that they have. The, uh, there's a quote, uh, power can seize nothing without a demand. And that's true. Like, so that's all I wanted to say. Cool. Excellent. Right now, uh, before we start with the hammer, I just I want to make a short hammer. I want you all to know, just train. <laughs> so now we got a stubby <laughs> little hammer here. You should have chopped it, probably. Oh no, that, that takes too, <laughs> too much energy. Right, right. We're talking about too much energy efficiency. Just use your eye shade to cut it. Right, right. Don't there try you that go. at home, y'all. Yeah, don't try that at home. This was bought like this. This is a steady <laughs> hammer. <laughs> um, so we're going to get into techniques. If you have a stick or something uh, at home or you got, you know, your training hammer where it's padded up and stuff like that, you can use that. If you do not have a hammer at home, go to the nearest hardware store, Dollar General, wherever you can go, Home Depot, and get a hammer. You can get a hammer, a dollar. You got it. You, I mean, at least everybody needs a hammer at their house. Not even if, if it ain't for self protection. You need a hammer. Period. <laughs> you need a hammer. Don't do this. Don't do that. Get a hammer. Get a hammer. And uh, one thing that Baba brought out, brought out in the last hammer right training system. that we had is, um, if you have on the right gear, it doesn't look like a weapon when you're wearing right. it you know you just have to make sure that you have the right thing on but you can it's the kind of thing it. that you can yeah that you can walk around with so yeah i used to walk around with a 44 magnum loans if i could if i can conceal that y'all can conceal I tell you, even with this <laughs> it and it depends on how you look what you're doing you could you could walk around with your hammer like this not if you're black <laughs> no. I, was about to, I was about to say uh, where you at too. I was gonna. I think you nope. could walk around with that. Of course, I mean, you, could. you definitely could walk around with. Hey, that. hey what, is that a shot at light skin boy? No. Light <laughs> <laughs> hey, skin over there. Have you that light skin nigga? <laughs> <laughs> but I think that bad. you know how to misdirect. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I know exactly what you're saying. Where yeah, yeah. We're they a shirt just, with some paint on it. Right, right. right. They, they, they would like, never be thinking that you were that you would be using that hammer for anything. I other said, than you know, something. at the thing, put some little paint on your face if you want to just walk into a place. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it's a do? story. Um, and I don't know if y'all can find this. It wasn't no somebody filmed it, but I don't know if it's on like on the internet right now. But the mayor Richard Daly was passing out cake for, for his birthday i think to you know the citizens at the state building i didn't know i saw him in there i said oh let me see how close i can get to richard daly oh you told me i walked right up to richard daly right past the security got a piece of cake from hand to folks say hey right, thanks rich and he's like oh yeah yeah he's playing it off 
But he's thinking, like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and, and his people are like, what? They, they, they're not going to move on me. I'm, I'm there now. I'm right there with them. And you're put, you're giving out cake. Like, what you're are giving, you, what are you doing? Right. So they were like, ah, right. you know, Richard Day handed me, I'm, I'm doing this side. He's doing that side. Security has failed. Him. Security failed. <laughs> and so after that, That's that politeness thing. After that, I said, all right, man, daily. And walked off. <laughs> he know I had him. I had him if I wanted him. He probably went off on his security after that. Yeah, somebody got fired. I just wanted to see. You say, well, what if they hemmed you up? That would have been a show for the folks. <laughs> because we would have gone at it. I'd have been like, I just came to get my cake. Right. <laughs> they let me right through. I'm walking, and people just assume I work for him too. It was crazy. It was crazy. I was suited up. That's what let me get close enough. And then I just walked right on in. They didn't block him up. Now I do executive protection. They didn't wedge me out with their arms, nothing. They just were standing there, you know, standing back, and I walked right in. You know why? Because mayors are protected by police. Police do not know how to work executive protection. They don't know how to protect the but that's not their job. Their job is to oppress. Their job is to arrest. It's not to protect you. Same way, if you have somebody, if, if, if you hired some executive protection folks and they were police, and a person about to attack you, the police instinctively would try to bring him down. Executive protection, we would try to get the package, the person, out, away from the danger. Not just attacking this person and leaving him there, then the real person that's the hitter kills him see if you don't know some real game like clubs they don't hire off-duty police officers for the secu for security and all that stuff the off-duty police officers really to keep the police at bay right. and to know what they're doing the right. real security be the other folks that's working there you know what i'm saying so it, it's yeah you definitely right about that yeah you do I mean, what you, you will with that information right right do what you will and for police watching you know it's the truth Simplicity is intelligence. If you're wondering why it, uh, you want that bodyguard job and folks ain't hiring you, it's because they got some sense. <laughs> now, Sharika Knight, Suge Knight's wife. I was bodyguarding Snoop. Suge Knight's wife was there to keep an eye on Snoop, was being bodyguarded by LAPD. That's what really scared Snoop because he thought they were going to try to hit it. And they may have. They won't, that wasn't going to work while I had me and my people with them. They were LAPD. They didn't know what they were doing. So much so, I said, you guys LAPD? Yeah, so-and-so. I said, where, where do y'all work? We work so-and-so, so-and-so. They telling everything. They don't know what they're doing because they're so arrogant. They're like, what can this nigga do to me? I can have somebody waiting on you when you go back to Slauson and wherever you work at and blow your brains out. I wouldn't, but could have easily because they will tell everything. They don't know what they're doing. Okay. Same thing with you can name the CeeLo and all them. They, they're like, man, get these cops away from me. I moved them away just like they were a fan or something. They know what they were doing and they would comply because they knew they didn't know what they were doing. Okay. And they would just, well, we're getting paid. We getting paid. So they didn't give a damn about CeeLo. Right. But they would they would bust CeeLo's head and arrest them, just like just like they would have done to me, right? If they had a chance, right? That's know who you're dealing with. Them. That's that's all it is. That's not their main priority. Right. So if you're thinking about getting a bodyguard, rich folk out there, you better get you somebody that's trained and not me. I don't do the shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> the rich folk that's out there donate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that's the time you say you donate. Yeah, risk folks that's out there, go ahead and donate. And I, I, I then I'll train your folks. Pay me enough now. I'll come out there and take the time. There you go. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris Rock, you might, you might need some protection. If I had been protecting Chris Rock, y'all have seen Will Smith get knocked cold out. All right, uh, we're about to get to it.
I would not you know him out. I'm a nice guy, I'm a nice man. Oh, when you say that, you gotta think about the general as a lamb. General as a lamb. Yes. Start called Bob the lamb. I want a shirt. I say that to myself and laugh. The lamb. I say that to myself and laugh. Yes, I said that yesterday to myself and laughed out loud. Bob the lamb. Man, that's Bob cool. Goon you laugh. Bob Bob Goon the lamb. That's probably the most accurate you've ever been. And then you're gonna laugh at yourself. Bob mm -hmm. Goon the lamb. That would be dope. <laughs> The shirt that's ball going to lamb is, you know, just be, or me just like holding the baby lamb. <laughs> that would be, that'd be nice. What about like up over your shoulders? Like, <laughs> right, yes. Just, you know. <laughs> Shit, if I can get my braids back, I'd be just like Jesus. Any artists out there? I, I'm not in soul Jesus. I really want to get a. I really want an image of Baba with a lamb across my shoulder. Either way, or, if you get across the shoulder or cradle it like well, this. Well, one could be across my shoulder, I cradle the other one. In all white, I need a bit of all. No, no, no like a baby. Oh, like a baby. See? Yeah, do that. That's yeah. how I was holding that pen. <laughs> so you I it. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. I don't know what made me want to say this, and I don't know who I'm telling this to. But don't stop eating pork, man. Whoever you is out there, <laughs> I was gonna say that before the class. But I was just, it was just in my mind, man. Somebody out there love bacon. They I know, know you do. I know you do. Room. Look, stretch, drink water, work out. <laughs> Stop eating pork. <laughs> I don't know what you, I, I, that's going to somebody out there. You know that's what like they say, hydrate, meditate. You know what I'm saying? Don't eat pork. Stretch, drink. Nobody pork. ever asked that to their thing, though. <laughs> no, because they like that, that pork on a little. Right. They stretch, meditate, and eat bacon. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, y'all. All right. Uh, I haven't eaten pork in since 89. How many years is that? 30 something years, right? 35, 33 years. I haven't had any pork. Man. So please don't. Last know, time I ate slip pork, none in my you, food or something. I we 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 are I'm from the country, so we killed the pig, shot him, skinned him, took the skin, cut it up, and boiled and made cracklings. That's what you do. That's that's right. not pork, that's cracklings, they right. the cubes, right? While we putting that in the fire, I'm telling myself, I'm like. 16 and i'm telling myself i don't need to be eating pork i done read you know uh uh how to eat you know what i'm saying i know better when i said that i'm telling y'all this is what happened a spark i seen like you know how you put mess with the fire and sparks uh -huh. come up a spark floated around we all in a circle around the fire went around got to me and stopped and burnt me right in the middle of my chest <laughs> The circle stayed there time. But they were telling you you need to go ahead and eat some pork. Like they eat that pork. Eat that pork. Like right, right. Something like that. All <laughs> that holy and my, righteous. That was my great granddaddy. Like boy, right. eat that pork. Right. If the pie was shaped like a pig, the pie was like an ember. All right. All right. So I eating pork when I was sixteen. Also, y'all oh, good. Wow. I, I I had to get to twenty one. I told my mother, um, make me all the pork dishes <laughs> that she knew. Now my mother grew up. They weren't eating pork until she got with my daddy. And cook for him, she was cooking pork. So, and no, she was not a Muslim. So uh she grew up in the South, Yazoo City. All right. But they were very both my parents really different the way they lived and thought. So she cooked all this pork shit, <laughs> and I just could not eat it. Mm. I'm looking at it like I said, Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do it. She said, Well, I I give it to the folks at the church. I give them the <laughs> point. He gave them the point. All right. So that's kind of cold. They, but they, hey. they it. No right, right. They, they <laughs> kiss it up to God. You do that with so stuff on the ground. Oh, yeah. Stuff in the dirt. You kiss up to the ground. Kiss up to God. You can eat it. God made dirt. dirt Dope don't. Dirt don't hurt. Bingo. All right. So yeah, how to so hold it, how I'm going to deal with that. And then Omi Nikki going to deal with the angles. Just angles one, seven, two, and three. That's all. That's all we're doing. Um, so how to properly hold this hammer. Take your hammer or your stick. If you don't have a hammer, if you don't have a hammer, like Billy said, I really don't understand. <laughs> These lines right here, this is where you want to put the hammer at. So this is the head of the hammer. Let it point up. Put your that those lines on top of that shaft there. You can leave a little bit of space right there, okay? Because you can use that too as a pommel. 
So put that line there, circle it around. If you got a small hand, don't worry about it. Circle it around. You're going to get it. And put your, now lock your thumb. That's how you hold the hammer. So the spine of the hammer should be that line right there. That, that's the separation of your of your joint right there where that knuckle is at that's where the head should be at in the spine the spine should be right there if the head is off that means it's, it's, it's crooked some kind of way it should be right there okay that way you know if i aim my knuckles these knuckles here not these knuckles these knuckles at the person's body i am hitting them with the hammer same way you hold a knife same way you hold a knife same way you hold a stick same way okay and that grip on there is tight so somebody twist your wrist or whatever you're not just dropping your hammer okay you say well my 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 hand is small my fingers are straight right there it, it, it's good as long as you have it right in this space right here you're good you're good you don't even need your your thumb use your thumb but that's how strong that grip is. So now just lock it in with your thumb and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay. That's how you hold the hammer. Now Omniki is going to show you the angles. The angles, it's 15 angles that you can strike at. 15. Some arts, like some of the, I know the Filipino arts, they say 12. Uh, the Africans, we say 15. Okay. Uh, and then, because 16 is sacred. 16. Can't tell you that about. Can't tell I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell them until you come to class. Yeah, what 16 class. means, but what the 16 move is, 16th move is. But it's 15 physical movements that you can know without coming to class. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna do one, seven, two, and three. One, seven, two, and three. One straight down. Seven. Upward diagonal, two, downward, front hand diagonal, three, downward, back hand diagonal. Okay, one, seven, two, three. Those are the most common strikes with a hammer. You can do all of them, but this is the most common. Okay. So if you can go through, uh, towards them, and then do it to the side so they can see as well. One, straight down, seven, at the angle upward um, to the right, from the left to right. Two, if you're right-handed. Right, if you're right-handed. Two, straight down from left to right, and three, I'm sorry, not straight down, at an angle from left to right, and three, the opposite angle from right to left. One more time. One, seven, two, three. One, seven, two, three. I turn that way so you can see. Two, three. Now, Bila, can you come up real quick? Yes, sir. So that one, seven, two, three. Say, well, where do I hit with it? Those are the angles. Those angles can hit at any elevation. Okay. So put the knife in your hand. So I can hit one. Boop. Seven, Ooh, to his arm, or seven, to his jaw, doesn't matter, or seven, to his kneecap, okay, or one, to his hand, instead of his head, okay, to my toe, to whatever, to his toe, exactly, so one, no matter where seven, you what height you at, two, net, three, to his collarbone, or one, to the hand, seven, to the wrist, two, to the thumb, three, to the knuckles. I've jacked that hand up, okay? 
Or like I was telling you, delivery system is what you want to aim for. If they got if they got the tool, yes, that's what you, you're going for. You saying you gotta train that down here. Can you bring that camera down? More. There you go. One, two, his toe. His toe. What's one? Seven. Boom. His knee. That's gonna hurt. Going up. Two, his knee. Boom. That's gonna hurt. One down, three, his knee. One down. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, I was about to see. Oh, that's effective. <laughs> and think about if you have children also. They have. If you bust them on their toes, they, they acting up. No. <laughs> oh, you said think about you had children. God saying, damn it. One. <laughs> one, 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 two, three. A child could definitely work with this size hammer. So if you train yes. them properly, at whatever height they are on a man, be size or any man's size. Right. Excuse me. They will be able to effectively work with a hammer like this. Now, can you turn that towards Cody? Can you move Danny out the way? Stand <laughs> out the way. Stand out. Can we pull Cody up a little bit so we can get yeah, to him? Pull Cody up, yeah. So we got Cody Whiteman. It's been a minute. We he's gonna take a a, a, a swipe <laughs> at Cody. Cody got a mask on. Really? It's COVID restrictions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what Cody got. He masked up. We showed him. I don't know what Cody got. <laughs> because I don't know what he has, but he did cough in here. <laughs> Cody gets this here. One. Boom. That's one. One. Boom. That's one. One. Boom. Collarbone. So it's head, that collarbone. That's the arm. Okay. Seven. To the arm. Mm. Seven. To his uh, neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. Woo. That's a bad to one. that neck. Two to that collarbone. Ooh, woo. Two to that arm. Three uh, ah. to that collarbone. Three to that hand. Right there. Okay. Seven also to his ribs. Ooh. Oh, this real nice. Okay. So that's that. One. You can strike along with me. One. Use your hip when you strike. One. Seven, two, three. One, seven, two, three. No, excuse me, three. One, seven, hit that arm. Okay. Two, hit that arm. Three, hit that arm. Don't want it to feel long. One, collarbone. Seven, ribs. Two, neck, three, collarbone. It's up to you. Where you want to hear that? Okay. Next first. Then let me get a little stubby. I'm going to get the stubby later. Just a second. What I like about these angles is, and where, and where you're aiming at sometimes, that it's hard to get away from. You know? One in the head. Just one in the ah. <laughs> you always hook yourself. Watch your clothes. One in the arm. Shoot, uh, what was that? Oh, seven in Go the arm. Go ahead, give it to me. That's seven. Two. Good. The delivery system. So the hands up, they're not working no more. All right. That was the face. And a lot of times, you know, that's the neck. Somebody threatening you, you cut neck, neck, face. Pull that hair out. They they put their All hands right. up. You know, whatever. That's what you get. That's what you exactly. go for right there. Wait, wait, wait. It's too late for that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. You like you ready? Yeah, nice. yeah, so you vote. Show y'all the, the the right way. It's the right way is the left. The left. <laughs> you already know what it is. So you go three to the neck. You go two to the neck. Seven under the arms. Seven in the ribs. Give him that one. That, oh, that, that, that was a six on his rib you just did. I did a six. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. I got I got a little head. Hmm. Hmm. The, the head left hand. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> one in the head. One in the head. 
Gordon, do that. Seven, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I make sure that time. Seven. seven in the ribs, seven in the elbow right there. Whoop. Two in the neck, two in the hand, three in the other hand. So two, two and three, hit both hands. You want to spec that. So two, three, go to both hands and go straight from there. And one in the chin, one right in the neck, two in the neck, three in the neck, three in the elbow. Just going to just knock them all up. Uh, I don't really, I guess you can hit them in the chest, but what, you know, what that's going to really do? Yeah. It's going to do something. Uh, you hit them with one to that sternum. You're right in the middle. You hit them right in that middle. Now, it's a little stubby. Well, a little you? stubby, you can hit him saying one, okay, uh, seven, two, three, or you can use it like you would punch. So you hold it a little closer to you instead of down here, you hold it up here. And now you go one with this, one with the pommel. Mm. Okay. Seven, I'm still right there. Or I can hit him right there, just like a, a hammer fist. Seven, okay. Two, three. I get him like that. And then these would be, you know, eights. Just jam him in the face with, with those. Just, bam, right? Hit that, that's when that, that sternum. You go there, boom, boom, bang, boom, bang, up to the chin with this. So this, this, this is a lot more versatile because it's shorter, but it don't have much power. As those, what angle would you call that, brother? Going up like that. What angle is that? Fifteen. Fifteen. Well, you weren't just asking me. <laughs> I know, but the, I, I'm the just. Thing. I want to see if now with me. this fifteen. <laughs> hey, the hook is great up Ooh. to his groin. Then you rip through. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 they got to see. They ain't got to see all that. Oh, <laughs> I don't so know, it's, think about that. Ah. Woo. Lord, and rip. And oh, rip. man, I'm going to have If you get don't right get behind, if it's a male, right behind, you, you don't really aim to hit, but if you get right behind his testicles. Oh, no, not the pre oh. The tank, oh. And then rip forward, you don't tear the testicles up. Look, make sure you do, you, if, you, if you do that, it's really <laughs> necessary. You know what I'm saying? Make what sure they really came like, at you. Are coming out now, if you use a knife and you if you stab them in their anus, twist, and pull out in the uh, intestines will fall. Yeah, I thought y'all remember you telling us that before. Oh man! But I, I, I'm 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 just speculating. <laughs> have not and stabbed then you won't have face. any more issues with that person. No, you won't have any more issues. Yeah. You definitely won't have. Because of course, that's when you want to kill somebody. That's, that's that's cold. Peace, wake up, wealthy. Okay, wake up, wealthy. Um, I believe his first name is Kevin. I think it is the Kevin. So mm -hmm. you can hit with this. You can slam with that. That's the stubby if you want. Uh, I would recommend getting the regular hammer because it's more power. And if you want to work, this is going to wear your hand out more than that. Just so you know. Okay. But these are very considerable. Very, very considerable. Okay. But you're talking about, well, you could hook with that. No, 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 you can, but don't try to do the hooking. Don't try to hook and all that magical, mystical technique. Where's my phone? Okay. <laughs> magical, mystical. <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks cool, but you're not going to be hooking nobody's arm in combat. Some people may be able to, but you're not going to do that. Not, not at this point in your training, I don't think. Peace, Jeremy. Um, Non-dominant hand. Well, we have a lefty, so we don't have to do nine. I, I was late, Jeremy, so I didn't get to do my MC Hammer joke that I had that I had formulated for this show. So yeah. What did he say? Stop, stop. hammer time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I have a photo with me hitting a guy in the wrist with the hammer and stop hammer time. Um, versus the stick. The wrist with the hammer? Goodness gracious. So we're going to go against the stick. Can you get a stick be like? Yes, sir. You want to the short stick? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the long stick. Now, we're going to use this to defend ourselves against the stick. And against a knife. Um, one of my family members said, well, what about a baseball bat? No, 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 no. Don't, don't try to use a hammer against a baseball bat. <laughs> it, it doesn't have the stopping power to stop a, the force of a baseball bat. You're going to hit it and boom, the bat and the hammer going to hit you in the head. Yeah, so you come with that bat. You, that's right. That's, that's different. There's a way to deal with the bat if you got to deal with a bat. Now, if I had a hammer... And the person had a bat. I don't have a choice. 
but I would not be hitting that bat with this hammer. I'd be hitting him with the hammer <laughs> as I close in. You say close in, you better. But that's like, uh, you better. Because <laughs> if you back up and he's swinging a, 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 a bat, the force of the bat is at the end of the bat. He's going to tear your ass up. Yeah, so you know what I mean. Right there. If he swing that bat and I back up, the force is here. It's going to tear me up, yeah, whether it hits my face, up. my arm, my side, whatever. It's going to tear it up. So he's swinging that bat and I move in and we dealt with this. Yeah, you'll see. The force is out there. It doesn't matter if he swings the bat. I'm here. And I got a, and if I got a hammer, it's bad he's not going to get to use it again. I'm going to go boom. But I, I didn't mean to hit him there. It's, it, it's going to crack and slide off and then hit his hand. Woo. And then I'm going to push that towards him and I'm going to keep hitting his hand. His yeah, hand. Yeah, and then I'm going to come again. with that seven up to the face again if, if he even looked like he wanted to do something else. I feel him pulling. I hit him up here. He's dazed again. I come down to his hand and then I take off if he's still holding that back. You better be really good though because you don't want to have to have to do that. You don't want to have to do that. Now we dealt with if you don't have nothing, what you got to do, but it's, it's the same. You got to close because if you cannot be far on the back. Now, if he's trained with a bat though, now when you come in close, boom, oh God, I, I back up that, give him that. Yeah, for, you see, I was about to try to slip one in, but he gave it to me before I could do it. So, so my stomach hurting, his balls hurting. I, yeah. I may have won that. He hit me in my liver. Right now, I'm going down. I'm going to hit him in his, in his testicles with the hook. And all I did was I didn't flip it or nothing like that. I just went down, boom, up. Yeah. Okay, because I can't take another hit from that once I'm going down. If I go down to my knees, he's going to bust my skull. So I hit him in his groin, make him back up. Then as he's backing up, I crack that across his shin. So he, ah, and then I crawl away. My liver hurt me. He crawls away the opposite direction. We ain't with each other no more. And we ain't messing with each other no more. And I, and I said, good one. You too. You too. <laughs> All right. So that's how that works. So now against a stick. He's using a stick. Now he's a lefty. Put in your right first and then we can switch to that. When you have the, the hammer out, don't have the hammer back here. Does you no good. And if you just push back that 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 the, 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 the teeth here of that hook, it's going to your back. That's the same thing as having your hands like this when you're about to fight. Right. <laughs> or, 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 or hands up, don't shoot. All right. That, that's probably going to be the end of you. People do that with a weapon until they hold it like this, like they're threatening. That's, they that's when they're they untrained. You see somebody holding. And, and if somebody, the Chinese police say, hands up. And they got a gun pointed at your chest. <laughs> Don't put your hands up like this. I said Chinese police. <laughs> Don't put your hands up like this. Because uh, you can't defend yourself. And he still got a gun pointed at your chest. That's all I'm going to say on that. Okay. Turn sideways. Put my hands up like this. <laughs> you know, I just had a dream about a person trying to charge in. And I was training people to angle them off here and then angle off here and step here. And the person that I'm protecting taps him on, I, on my back to let me know he, he moved with me. Mm -hmm. That, I was like, damn, why am I coming up? And I was talking about executive protection today, I believe. And executive protection uh, request is going to be coming soon. My media will rise to success in the film industry. I'm going to need you. Hey. All right. So. And yes, you train your package to move with you. Your package better know something. They better know how to move with you, okay? And also, when they don't, the person that's in the rear grabs him by his belt and turns his ass around. We may deal with an episode on, on, on no, no, because then people get the technique for free. I'm like, well, no, 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 no. Not, not for exact protection. I give you this for free. They gonna get, they gonna go and use that and get paid. Right, get paid thirty five dollars an hour minimum. All right, so he swings. Um, well, you can do number one. You can talk about how we match them. So here, here's the one. Do not match a one with a one. That makes no sense. <laughs> so with a one, he's coming to one. I come with a seven. Mm. I don't want to hurt your hands if you kill. So I come with a seven. Now I'm not aiming to hit him. It'd be good if I could hit him with the with with the with the the head of it. 
but I aim this thing, boom, if it hits that shaft, that still works. Okay, because the this tool is from here to the shaft. Wherever I got to, if I got this much room, then this I got this much shaft and the head and the hook to work with. Okay. So he swings, boom, I catch him. I do not let it come down to my head. I'm doing that seven where I'm going upward, diagonal. Boom. Once I hit him there, boom, I turn it up. So all I'm doing is going here and turn it up. I turn it up. I make sure I block that with my arm and I come down with uh, my own one. If he moves his head back, he catches it in his collarbone. Man, this is so bad. Okay, I come down and then I give it to him there anyway because I like hitting mugs in that groin <laughs> with that hook. <laughs> okay, because even if it don't go through the pants, it got them thinking. Yeah, it don't matter. They going all the attention is right. going there. And when he if he does that. Then I hit him in the neck or the chin with that hook. Mm. So it's just a beautiful thing. So once again, I boom, step in, remember that. Boom, just turn it over. It's out your way now. And it's all kinds of things you can do from there. That's good. If you want, like, put your other arm on it if you can. If you just have one arm or this one's injured, then just slam that up. Because as I'm slamming it up, this arm is still blocking him on this line from coming up. And you may be thinking when he first, so when he goes right here and he turns, you may be thinking, I can I can do something from here. But you got to remember, I just got hit with a hammer in his hand. So I'm lucky if I'm still holding this, first of all. And I mean, what, what really could he do? If he right. tries to do something like swing at my leg with the stick, I just move my holding. leg, I keep it moving. Now, I didn't have to move my leg, but I would for safety's sake because I just pushed him away from me. Right, right, right. But I'd move my leg back, move, and then slam that into him or slam that seven up into his ribs now. I ain't got nothing. I don't have anything. Okay. Else. So it's seven. If he's out I'm further from me and he swings and I hit him with the seven, the stick, with the seven instead of his arm. I didn't aim right because I should still be able to hit him in his hand. Mm -hmm. But if I do that, I still turn it over. Okay. Engage him with the other hand, push that towards him, slam that hammer. So it's a one, two. Into one, his two. neck, slam it, a one into his face, two into his neck, or two his, and two into his collarbone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that one more time. I catch the stick. You can bring that. Down there more because I'm catching sticks. I can. It's there. Boom. Okay. Imagine getting hit with a, in the eye with a hammer. Uh, <laughs> that would be nasty. <laughs> Good grief. Really, anywhere. I think that. Yeah, anywhere. That is so, the yeah. It's it's the, the weight of it. Uh -huh. When you feel it, when you touch it, you instantly realize what kind of damage it's going to do anywhere you, you messed up. When you swing, too, I use my wrist. To give more power, mm -hmm. but if you have wrist issues, just lock your wrist, just keep it locked, and swing. Yeah, you're still, gonna tell you're me. still doing terrible damage because it's really your hip that's putting that power in there when you swing. Don't forget to use your hip. Swinging my grammar like the hammer <laughs> of the mighty Thor. <laughs> there you go. I manifesto peace, simplicity, directness, freedom. I say, all right. Greetings, I manifesto. Wealthy Wake says simplicity is intelligent. <laughs> they said that earlier. Oh, that. really? So now that's one. Angle two. And this is a lefty. But it really doesn't matter if he's a righty. Oh, well, and he come, I mean, he's on the right. Uh, with the left, he comes down. With yeah, with the one. Boom. Same. I hit him in his arm. I turn out. Now, these are your goodies. Yeah, I'm in worse shape. So this, this is way. bad for you here. And then from there, boom, I give it right, right to his jaw. If I'm scared of this, I can push that back and then go right to his neck, right to his collarbone, or to that elbow. Giving him this whole, you could, you could got so much power with it because you can come from and I'm And I'm using my hip. Use your hip, there's more power. I'm, I'm hitting him in his elbow with that because I don't want to worry about that stick again. Or 
I push it back and just let fly. Boom. Turn right into his jaw or to his chin. Okay. After I hit him in his chin, I can come back down just in case he's trying to use that tool again. Once again, it's here. Turn over. Huh. It's right there. Boom. Okay. Now, in the right, he comes with the two. Uh, turn this way so you can see where I'm hitting at. I'm still hitting him in his goodies. Boom. Hitting him in his goodies. Same move again. I push that towards him. So this one, when I turn, I push it towards him if I'm cross. We're crossing across each other. This one, I just turn it up and it pushes him. This one, I can't turn it up. It's away from him. You got me? So I push towards him. Boom. Now the seven comes up. I hit. Now what he's doing, the two, I'm doing the two. Boom. And remember, two goes down. So I'm down and pushing it towards him. And then I come up with a seven. Boom, boom, seven, boom. They can be to his eyes. They can be to his jaw. They can be to his chin. They can be to his ear. They can be under his ear. They can be his skull. All that's fine. None of it is going to be feeling good. No, none of it's going to be feeling good. <laughs> and... Hit him multiple times because he does have a stick. Okay. And because that hammer is fast, you can move quickly with it. So it's like bang, bang, bang. Well, bang. what I would say is bang, bang, bang. Like, you go face, hand. Sorry about that. Face, hand. Back and forth. Lord, that's too much to think. Hand, about. face, collarbone, back to the hand. If he's still up, if he's still you. up, <laughs> and if he's still holding that tool, and if he's still up and holding that tool, just get on out of there after that, right there. Right, <laughs> he's, on <the> break. <laughs> he's on PCP. <laughs> right, so that was one, two, now three. Three is the backhand. Once again, boom. This was easy. Three, I meet him with the three. Two with a two, three with a three. Boom. Hit, turn it towards him. Push that toy. Always push towards him if you can. Okay. Then the two comes. So it's three. Push two. Mm -mm -mm. Right in the soft of the neck. Or three. Push three. What you gonna do about that? Three. Push that out. Seven. Boom. So it's versatile. You can do many things with that. Okay, that's the, Ooh, I just saw when you seven. If you came back with that hook, with the hook, and did it that right there, pulled, pulled you forward, and rah! oh my great. Okay, so, what, what he's talking about is this push it. No, it's from this one, it's from this. Yes, this push. No, I pushed it out seven. Boom. Oh, right. And right. then come back with the hook, Ooh. pull his face that way, and then slam that, and that into his inside face. your jaw. Pull. Oh, my right. gracious. Oh, my gracious. Or you have it in the jaw, you pull and push the space that way. Ah, so you gotta be like that. Separate, oh, then you hit oh, that's so nasty. Now, you do zombies like that. Right. <laughs> so now, and, and we ain't talking about cold zombie cold work with black folks like <laughs> white folks do either. Right. It's just cold for somebody though. <laughs> now, <laughs> now uh, switch your hand. Yeah. Now, yeah, we're doing three. Mm -hmm. so, so three. So you can see this one. Now, that one was crossed. This one is mirror inside, right? So boom. This one, three, I hit that with a two. I push towards him. Two. Boom. Two twos. Boom. I push it away. Seven. Hmm. So it's up to you. The way that act the boomerang, bang, bang, bang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Slow that down. Knock that out the way. Boom. Slap it again. Ooh. Boom. Two. Let me see that. Let me see Want to add a little bit more. Yeah, that, was a little, that was a little pretty right there. Boom. Stop it. Slap it out the way. Boom. Slap. Hit it again on, in the inside. Boom. Hit. Okay. Bad day, bad day. It's another way. Now, uh, the last one on that one. Seven. Oh, let me start right here. Seven. He's coming with the seven up into my drive. 
uh, to my hip well, to my neck. He's coming with a seven. So what do I do? That one, boom. Mm. Down into the hand, slam into the hand, stop, boom. Another one right there. One, slam it. I hit the stick. He's coming. Yeah, so y'all can see a little bit. He's coming with the seven. Ooh, that was good. good. There, Woo. okay. Hit. Just the vibration boom. of that hit. thing. He ain't even, he just barely tapping it. You hit the, the hands. Boy, if he hit Don't. the hand, it's gone. And then, boom. I'm being very careful. I don't even tap him. Think about this, y'all. Think about without him, hit, think of the momentum I'm coming with. My own momentum. So it's not like he even got a swing hard, but he's still going to be swinging a hammer. So I'm coming with my momentum. Dang. Can you imagine what that's going to feel? Goodness gracious. I don't think y'all feel y'all like that. It's going to crack those small bones. And then it's it's over for this it hand. It's over. Give it to his face. And then you give it back to the hand again. I can't even imagine what that's going to that When you pain. hit, drop your weight too if you can. Drop your weight. So it's coming down with a lot more force on that hand. You want to destroy that on the first shot. And you're going to if you catch it. If you, if you catch it, you're going to destroy it. Now, don't aim for the fist. Aim for the tool. Just aim for what's in the delivery system is this whole fist, his arm, all that. So just throw it at the delivery system. Okay? Don't be specific. I'm going to hit his fourth metatarsal. No, don't do that. Just boom. I'm going to hit his damn Delivery system, which is his arm, his fist, all of that. I got his wrist that time. Boom. He like my old man used to always say, it's gonna do something. He out when he out. Boom. I hit it again just because I do want his fist. Boom. You give it to him. Boom. And because his thumb is is, is right there, shoot, point it out like that. He's telling me I, I gotta hit his thumb. I got to hold him up too properly now that I got bang. Right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hit him. That that's just teaching him, teaching him to keep his thumb around around the stick, even though he's my opponent. Yeah, I new, I'm gonna remember that when I get a new yeah, thumb. And, and, and then I hit him here. That teaches him and come down and see him chuck his chin. <laughs> you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. Exactly. So those are the techniques for the hammer. Okay, easy now. Train. So very easy. That those things you can train. Remember. Work on your angles one, seven, two, three. That's all you got to work on. Simplicity. That's Simplicity. One, seven, seven, two, three. So you got all of them. If you want to write them down, one, straight down. Okay. Two, no, excuse me, seven. Diagonal backhand upward. Okay. Two. That's diagonal forehand down. Three. Diagonal backhand down. Okay. Uh, oh. Let's do against the grabs and we'll end on that. Because you always want to keep your two. Um grab me. Well, I actually, I grab you. You know how to keep your, your tool? Do, do you? I guess we about to see. <laughs> Weapon retention. Now, let's see if he knows how to oh, keep Oh, you talking about when you grab it? Oh, I thought you meant yeah. grabbing me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not grab. I am, I wouldn't grab it. Now, I'm just going <laughs> well, to know how to keep it <laughs> So, somebody is scared, okay, and you grab. The first grab, most common grab against a hammer. Is this these two? Those two. Actually, let me do those two. Okay. And you can do the laurels. So I come here and he grabs. When he grabs inside my wrist, come around so you can see what I'm doing. A lot of times they teach women wrist wrist grab escapes. Nobody just be grabbing your wrist. The only time they grab your wrist is against a tool because they don't want you to keep stabbing them or hitting them or poking them with the tool. Smacking them. Smacking them, right. So they see the whole Hogan's. They will grab, right. He grabs that. I he has his hand there. I lay my hand upon him. Upon him. <laughs> so the back of my thumb is at his wrist. 
or I mean at the back of his hand. I grabbed the fat meat of the fat meat of his thumb. And then I just try to hit him in the chest with my elbow. Ooh, that, like that. So this like that brings me out. I'm I'm free. I definitely wasn't going to do that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> Number seven. Yeah, exactly. And then number seven, <laughs> boom. Grabbing that tight, which somebody would do, is what actually messes you up. I had to do I'm grabbing it tight not to get hurt, and that's just wrist lock. And I'm not. And I probably ate. This and mouth. if I do hit him with the elbow, it's beautiful, but I'm just really working that wrist to get out. And then from here, because he's looking that way, I'll bring his <laughs> around and hit him in the back of his ear with a number two. Or to keep it simple, I just step back, boom, with a seven, up. So, or I flip it and catch him with a seven, woo, with that hook, or that hook to his throat. But that that's that's really br brutal. That's not nice. Well, I've seen so I hit him up there, boom, seven. It should remember, be as nice I'm the lamb. I was about, yeah, because you know that spike might not work. Because I've seen these folks on TV that can get toughen their skin up, <laughs> where the sores don't penetrate them and stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. They, uh, they never did a hell, but they only did swords, though. They let did. somebody that don't know stick that, <laughs> that, that sword or, or spear in their neck. I heard cassava will do that for you. Cassava? When you eat cassava? I, get, I don't know if you're rubbing on his skin. Now, I heard that it's a dude named cassava. You can stab him. <laughs> don't stab me. But you can stab cassava. <laughs> All right. Next episode, how to defend yourself from a hammer attack unarmed. Um, how to defend yourself from a hammer attack unarmed? This is how you do it. I, I'm you, sure. walk way, okay. <laughs> you walk way across the street with the haul ass. You point at him like this. <laughs> you, you're out. That's what you do. Because you better have some type of tool on you. If right. I say right now, you all pull out, pull out a tool. Pull out a tool. If you don't have a tool, you know you effed up. You know you effed up, right? You know you're like, like uh, the brother said, you know you effed up, right? Always. You got to always have a tool on you. Even though we in the safety of this house, somebody can walk in here. A dude walked in. He looked mad as hell. <laughs> he just, just walked up and started slapping shit out of me. Slapped me like Will slapped Chris. <laughs> He'd have caught this hammer. I'd been hammering him to sleep. <laughs> then, like, I was just, you know, helping your tenant go to sleep. <laughs> no, just let him know I'm joking. Because I know he's getting <laughs> There you go. Next yeah, time, don't have it in your purse, though. She's at that. Look, you got one. Oh. So, uh, there, there won't be an episode how to defend yourself against a hammer attack <laughs> unarmed because that's not the smartest way. But if you don't have a choice, you got to pretty much deal with this like a, yeah, it's going to be bad for you. Comrade uh, Kwame, he said, uh, y'all crack me up how y'all beating people down with a smile on your face. If you can't have joy and pride <laughs> in what you do, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, you What's know what I'm saying? What's the point? What's the point? Jared said he keeps a hammer of various kinds Get by in every room. I'm kind of scared of you, Jerry. You got to just say, yeah. Hey, man. Hammer. Look, you hit him with that, and then you whoop him with the him with the monkey ball. Ah! I think he already knocked down. I told you it worked. All right. So now, um, oh, the grab, the grab. Yes. So, top grab. Remember, hand on top. If you forget to get the the, the, the wrist uh, back here, just make sure you got it here so he can't run, to be honest with you. And then just come over. Still don't feel good. And and, and it still gets you out of there. I'm still out. And he's he's really holding me now. Oh, yeah. You see, hold up, man. Y'all see what's happening right there. It's, it's a, it, you see that? Oh. <laughs> Woo, he got me. Look at that. I can't hold it. I can't hold it like that. Boom. Okay. Now, he grabs the outside. Uh, no, yeah. He grabbed. I said, "Oh my, my god!" Now, what are you going to do against our outside? Oh, you are in trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> now, if he keeps me back like that, that's even better for me. Hold me back. Don't let me hit you. Good, good. So out now, now, <laughs> boom. It's easier. So if he's holding me tight like that. I come down I can't stop towards that. his thumb. And that's and you that, see all that's, how that's open. Start turning the pain. See that? If I keep it. I'm out. 
I don't can't know. go against my thumb. That's too much pain. And so the way we keep that is push up or hold so he's not following you when you get out. Hold, press down. Yeah, I'll pop something trying to hold it. And that. then you just go to work. Go to work. That's the ugly. Out. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then boom. <laughs> No, but I got one. Get out of I know you probably got this already, but what about the scared this way? Yeah. <laughs> got it. <laughs> so, so with this one, you choose. You choose this one. He gave you two options. He was nice. That was nice. But that's I twice can do, the strength, though, Bob. It, woo, man, it's twice the strength. Right. You can do, do that one, and Ooh, I'm out. That and is. that's not really stopping nothing. Or I can deal with this one here. And do that one, and I'm out, and boom. Two so you just do, you choose one. the one you want, but do not put two uh, your hands on there because he got two hands. <laughs> Don't do that. Two hands ain't better than one now, hand. No, now what you can do, you can pop him just because he did it, then you get wow. out and boom, hit. Wow, so that's what we okay. So that's how you get out of those grabs. Now, low grabs, I'll do you. Okay. Low, so those are high grabs. It was. High inside first, then high outside. Mm -hmm. Now, low. You're not hitting me in the chin with this pommel there. <laughs> low outside. So, one, I come to myself. Is that? No, 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 no. let me do this one too. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. He grabs. Uh, Just come straight come up. Come around so you can see. Yes. Yeah. This one, when he grabs, I don't know why he's being fancy. All <laughs> you're doing is, so. I do it without this first, so you can see. I'm just rubbing the side of my hair. Yeah. I'm just rubbing the side, you know, slicking it down, slicking it down. Hold on to it. That's it. Hold, hold on to it, baby. Oh, and then I, I'll have Omaniki come in, so you can see. So you just bring. Oh, yeah, we just did this. Mm -hmm. Right. You bring your wrist up. Ah, look at that. Can't hold on. And do that. So now with this tool in there, same thing. I bring it up. Ah. And then I bring it down, <laughs> okay? Because what up goes up must come down. Right. It's more power if you step towards him on that same side. He has my right arm, my right leg steps towards. I'm free, and then I slam that. So you may get your nugget on the way up, okay? So just brush the side of your hair. The closer yeah. your elbow is to your body, the stronger you will be. If you out here trying to do that, it's not going to work for you. Have your elbow close to your center and lift. So, Bob, I know the rule that you can always go away from the grab or from the thumb, but for when you got a tool, you got more control with these, with these actually that you're showing right here. Mm -hmm. So it's better. That's why you're not showing just pull away from the from from this side or whatever because you want more control. I'm asking for myself now. No. So even if you're empty-handed, you want to stay. If, if a person was to grab your wrist. You still want to stay in close. Right. So I can slam. I don't have a, the tool. Now this is the tool. I still slam him in his collarbone. Elbow up. Mm -hmm. Hit. Bump. Right. So I, I still want to be close. Right. You could have got out just moving your hand that way, but you want to have. No. Me. So you don't want to go this way. See how you can still follow me for a longer time. Right. Okay. Okay. I got you. This one you can't. Mm. Okay. And it leaves no, you straight open to attack. Yeah. That's what I'm noticing. I get out here. And wow. he's open to attack. He's open to attack right there. Good point. Okay. So there's many ways you can get out when you were doing that, but that's too much energy. Right. Okay. Now, if he grabs you on the inside low wrist, now you look at your hand. We did this right. with something else. Yeah, we did it the last week. So you look at this, you look at your hand. Then you hey, turn. So they can look at your hand, but then you ain't looking at your hand. And then from there, there's a bye. There's that two coming down or that one. Okay. Once again, he's got me inside. I turn out. Hmm. If you will feel more comfortable, you can push there. You turn like how we were turning before. You turn. You see, I'm out. But here I can use his hand, too, to help. Now I got him in the back. And number three comes, boom, right behind that ear, or three to the back of his, uh, to his cerebellum, or his spine. Okay. Okay. So I'll do that one last time. Just come up, look at it, 
push that away, slam that down and down and down to the back of his neck as I leave. And once again, if I grab with both hands, you got the choice to either one. Yes. If you grab with, with both hands, which I feel like most likely people are going to do when they see it. You got to have so it. if you grab with both hands and you're pushing that towards you, it may be hard to do this one unless you are skilled. So just come up in the middle. Ah, then you got that the, one. Then you got the number one. So and remember to step with the with this foot on the same side, mm. and then just bring it on down. Boom. Break it down. <laughs> Nobody will ever ever hear your sound. <laughs> and that's that's how you do it. Okay. So that's escapes. Uh, go back and watch the tape. Uh, so you can get little pointers if you miss anything. Um, make sure you catch all the shows on Black Power Media. Uh, we got a great lineup. We got uh, Jared, Dr. Jared Ball on Mondays and Fridays. Where I mix what I like. We've got uh, the Remix Morning Show on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 8 o'clock, 8 to 10. And uh, we come on on Thursdays at 9 o'clock on uh remix morning show um we've got riot starter tv we got um black myths podcast burn it down right uh no no burn it down she's on a different oh, oh. thing kim brown's on a different on her own platform we got uh sundays on sundays We've got they got a new show too. We got Black Defense. Oh God, what is it called? With Dr. Chajwa. Uh, Thank you, Dr. History Dr. of Black Defense, I believe it is. We've got Brokish. So they got a new show too called Not by Myself. I well, not by myself. Right. Not by myself, right? That's Dr. Ball. Uh, so I'm not gonna watch this by myself. <laughs> These mother folks to watch with me. So we we got a lot of so, and um uh, we got a lot of great shows we got great merch if you go to uh blackpowermedia.org get yourself a hoodie get yourself a mug let's all get a mug so then we, when we come on we can all drink something together and uh, we can also show you how to use this improvised and weapon. i can yes show you how to use that as an improvised weapon um hopefully you don't break it i can still show you how to use that and if you break it just buy another one right exactly you know because we know we got ballers out here um, uh not by myself just my fun segment we doing one tonight at 8 p.m. All right, Dr. Ball, there you go. So make sure you tune in. Um, make sure you donate to Black Power Media. Absolutely. Uh, because you're not getting any other uh, platform that's showing you shows that we do, really, to be yeah, honest. I think tomorrow will be your 50th year. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that too. Uh, so tomorrow will be my 50th year of training. We got a workshop uh, coming for y'all. We're we working out tomorrow. Uh, you said, what do you do to be fit this? I'm, I'm, I'm training. Okay. Yeah, but Train for his birthday, train for Father's Day. Train train, for exactly. <laughs> uh, except, except Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Day yes. Mother's Day the only, we, we train Christmas, all of it. Mother's Day, we take off because I ain't getting in trouble with my wife or my mama. <laughs> just so you know. Um, I, I have one thing I want mm -hmm. to add. Um, I just wanted to apologize for uh, some of the views that I expressed last week. I did not mean to offend any of the comrades that we have out there that are putting in work. Um, and, you know, just any any people who we have that are willing to work with us and who are watching this platform. Like, that was not my intention at all. I hope that you can forgive me or I trust that you can forgive me. And, um, you know, much love to everybody out there. So thank you. And thank you to Baba for correcting me the way that I needed to be correct. Oh, it, it's it's cool, but we as always. But don't don't get it twisted. We got some wicked white folks out there. Yes, we do. Who done done us plenty. So how we feel is valid always. Okay. Now, um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments workshop coming workshop uh, is coming next next week we'll 16th, be live the 16th that's the 16th saturday we will be but live. we'll be on from instead of one to three we'll be 11 to three um you come live come ready to work 
Come in your workout gear. Come to our studio if, audience. If you're in Atlanta, you can you can join us in yes, the studio please audience. Yes. We train the dive facility. If, if not, then join us online. We'll be right here on Black Power Media um, next Saturday, 11 to 3 live. Yep. All right? Thank Good you, I Manifesto. Love y'all. All right. Stay black, whatever it is that you are. Be safe out here. Peace. Peace. Keep them hammers. Keep those hammer hammer time. <laughs>